Oh, hi there, internet people. Uh, we're gonna get serious today. We're gonna start doing some cutting. Uh, we're gonna extend the cab by cutting it down here, moving it back eight inches. Um, I noticed that the, uh, the, cab, the back of the cab is stamped much deeper than the uh, door, and we're going to be using door skin, so it may be a little tricky, but I think we'll make it work, because that's what we do around here. We make it good enough. Maybe not perfect, but... So here's what we got anyway. Uh, I'm going to cut this right across here, and uh, two... 8 inch, is it 8? 9 inch, I think. Wow. Let me check it again. Let me pick up my tools. It's, uh, yeah, um, wrong end. Okay, we got 8 inches. And 8 inches. Okay, two 8 inch petitions. Let me see if I can get this camera to set still. And an extension cord. There we go. I'm back. I uh, had to find an extension cord. Plug that sucker in and start cutting. pieces. Oh look, there's a window mechanism in there. We may need that. Uh, so, next step is to cut it here. And a lot of ragged edges on that. Okay, and then we're gonna splice that to there. Somewhere in around here. And uh, we're gonna tuck this end in behind what's left of the cab. And that'll keep it straight until it gets back eight inches. So that gives us a little bit more room because Richard and I are both a little bigger than people used to be back in 1937, I guess. There we go, hey. Hi there, internet people. I see everybody starts their videos this way and they drink a bunch of Red Bulls and snort cocaine. Well, I haven't got any of that. I'm gonna fake this enthusiasm because that's not my personality. But what we're here for today, ladies and gentlemen, is we're gonna extend the cab. We're gonna cut right along this black line here and move the roof back eight inches and uh, weld in a piece and have an extended cab. We gotta do that before we can decide on the uh, length of the frame because we don't know where the back of the cab's gonna be for sure. 
and uh, Richard's going to do the cutting. It's a whole lot easier for me to record when I'm not cutting at the same time. So uh, let's have at it. Where do we start? That looks good. Separation. Yeah, Good. Now let's get the other side. This brace in here mostly, and then those two, two little braces there. Yeah. So we need to come over. Yeah, somewhere around there, I guess. But we'll do that after we get both sides yeah, cut. I think. The other side cut first. Right? 
Okay, so we're going to cut the middle out of the roof because it's full of holes. Instead of just going straight across here, we're going to also eliminate this whole mess in here and use new sheet metal. Uh, we might have to cut off this part and keep it, but it's going to be 8 inches too short. And we got another roof we can use for pieces if we need it, so might as well start cutting. Once you get across the front, the whole back end is going to drop off, so maybe you should cut across the back first. And then this will still be here because once you cut that off, it's going to make it hard to, uh, yeah. you know, that back part's going to be kind of flimsy. Right now it's got some support. And I always lost fingers. Yeah. You want to use this footstool here maybe to get started? Yeah. Oh, you get better footing if you're on something like that. <laughs> yeah, this looks kind of loose. Yep. Might be able to reach halfway across anything that so way too. Yeah, maybe. Pretty noisy. Okay, time to pull the back end off. Hey, how about that? Yeah, well, that looks a little bit more than nine inches, but uh, <coughs> let me see. We got a. I got these panels here that I sandblasted. <coughs> Yeah, that's gonna go about there. Mm -hmm. Of course, the cab's down a little. Yeah. So it's not lining up at the moment. But yeah, we'll work on it. Yeah. <coughs> that'll give it a little more leg room. Yeah. Um, hmm. <laughs> I guess we shouldn't have cut this piece off. It's supposed <laughs> to line up with that. Oh well. well we as long as we get that lined up, we can fudge this. Yes. There will be a lot of fudging. <laughs> yes, definitely. You better get a whole big gallon of fudge. I remember I heard somebody use, when they were doing a roof one time, used a gallon of Bondo, but instead of mixing it on a board, yeah. they poured it onto the roof. Yeah. Stirred it all up. out onto the roof. Yeah. And then, and then mixed it all up with a big stick. Yeah. And then and spread it out. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like what we might have to do with this. Okay, well, now the next step is to weld in those pieces, I guess. Weld them to the back, stand the back up, and weld them to the thing, and then start filling in uh, everything that's missing. Yep. Like the bottom uh, bead, we don't have this. This section here. We've only got up to here. Yeah. So we down find here. something. Yeah, we'll have to make that panel. But uh Cool. Yeah, cool. It's been declared cool. It's official. You got that one. Good. That looks good. No. Thought it was too. Really Good thing God invented grinders. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, that looks like it. Oh yeah, that one took. Yeah. And it's in a good spot too. I don't know why it's sputtering either. It's coming out too fast or not fast enough. Right, right. Press one down. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, I know what's wrong. You didn't so. turn on the gas. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah. I bet it'll work better now. <laughs> Oh well, <laughs> I got I got another one. Huh? So oh. you get something out of that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Just got to cut a few more pieces to fill in the rest of the gaps. And uh... And of course, we've got the door. Oh yeah, the gap isn't right. The gap's a little tight. You know, we'll open the back. But yeah. It might be because of the hinges too. We can fix that. Problem. We can. We probably won't, but we can. <laughs> uh -huh. So, yeah, I've got these. These are Model A panels that we're going to cut and use for the bottom bead. Because you can always find Model A panels. I haven't planned on using them yet anyway, so. Yeah. We'll just cut them in. Weld it back inside. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got too much music going on there. Now, well, this side doesn't look too bad. So I'll weld it in with my chisel. <laughs> There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> the chisel, hmm? Yeah, it's got a little bit of weld on it, but not too much. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't latch yet, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay, we're getting there. Yeah, the, so there it is. It looks good from this angle. Well, to somebody like us, it would look good from this angle. But to the average person, it looks like a pile of junk. But it's coming along. So uh, don't forget to like us, uh, subscribe to our channel, and, and uh, leave comments. I'd like to know what people think of this. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but uh, yeah, we need some opinions. Are we messed up? Should we give it up? Should we stop doing this? I mean, how many people are trying to build two rat rods at the same time with no money? <laughs> so, looking good. We still got to cut some more panels. And we got another roof that we're going to use to from a 55 Ford pickup. And I think we can make it work. Of course we can make it work. Nothing is impossible.